Wildcats. Hi, animal lovers. Today, we are going to learn all about wildcats. You can read along with us by downloading this lesson plan from our website, learnbright.org. What are wildcats? Wildcat or wild cat. You have probably seen cats all over the neighborhood, and you may even have a cat as a pet. Scientists believe there are 300 to 600 million cats in the world, most living in the United States. So before discussing wild cats, let's talk about pet cats. Cats that live with people as pets are called domesticated cats or house cats. Cats are known as feral when they have no human-provided pet home, are abandoned, or are born in the wild. You may see them in the city in alleys or city streets. Feral cats are considered a nuisance, as many carry diseases or wreak havoc on the ecosystem by killing native species. Scientists estimate there may be as many as 100 million feral cats in the United States. Generally, feral cats avoid contact with humans, but you should be cautious if you encounter a feral cat. It can be aggressive when it feels threatened. The wild cats we are reading about are a group of cat species. So yes, formerly domestic or feral cats are sometimes called wild cats, but they are not wild cats. Wild cats live all over the world in many different habitats. They all have a common ancestor that lived in Asia about 10 million years ago. Over time, they migrated to other parts of the world using land bridges. Now they live on every continent except Australia and Antarctica. They live in forests, mountains, and deserts. The term wildcat refers to both big and small cats that live in the wild. There are about 40 species of wild cats. Most of them are small and weigh less than 50 pounds. They have muscular, flexible bodies with fur. The thickness of their fur depends on where the cat lives. Their fur can be white, beige, brown, orange, or black. Often it is spotted, striped, or marked in some other way. What do wild cats eat? Wildcats are carnivores. They eat deer, rabbits, antelopes, buffaloes, boars, zebras, and giraffes. Some wildcats even eat reptiles, birds, and fish. When wildcats live close to human settlements, they will often prey on poultry. Poultry are animals such as chickens, ducks, turkeys, and geese. Wildcats rely on their sense of sight and hearing when hunting. First, they will wait for their prey, staying as still as a statue. Then, they will leap as much as 10 feet to pounce and grab their prey. Wildcats will wait in trees with branches that hang over water when they hunt near a water source. Once they capture their prey in their claws, wildcats will pierce the prey's neck with their fangs. If the prey is large, then they will leap onto the back of the animal and attempt, or try, to bite the neck. Other interesting facts. Wildcats have been found in lots of different types of art. They have been drawn in the oldest cave paintings ever discovered. In fact, they have been drawn by humans for thousands of years and are part of every culture. Many cultures have statues of wildcats and stories about them. In fact, we have stories about wildcats today. Have you ever seen the cowardly lion from The Wizard of Oz? Or Tigger from Winnie the Pooh? Or Shere Khan from The Jungle Book? They are all a type of wildcat. And many sports teams use wildcats as the team mascot. And you've probably seen wildcats on your food, too. Some companies have used wildcats as their company mascot. For example, Tony the Tiger, the mascot for Frosted Flakes, is a wildcat. And so is Chester Cheetah from Cheetos. Wildcats have a lot of interesting features to help them hunt. They have large eyes with a binocular vision to help them see a wider area. Their tongue is covered with a rough texture to help them scrape meat from their prey. They have protractable claws, which can lengthen or extend their claws. They have around 30 sharp teeth, excellent night vision, sensitive ears, and an acute sense of smell. Why are wildcats important to the environment? Several species of wildcats are critically endangered, and others are vulnerable or near-threatened. The population of wildcats is declining because of habitat loss. A wildcat's habitat is where it lives, takes shelter, hunts, drinks, reproduces, and raises its young. While their habitats sometimes disappear naturally, 
Most often, it is because of increased use of the land by humans. The land is destroyed for new homes, shopping centers, and building roads. Wildcats also lose their natural habitat to farmers, loggers, and the construction of dams. In addition to habitat loss, many wildcats are being hunted almost to extinction. People hunt these cats for their pelts, organs, and bones. They are also killed by humans who are angry or scared that they are on their land or eating their livestock. Another reason wildcats are hunted is for trophies. Wildcats are important to the environment because they keep local ecosystems in balance. For example, if they didn't eat their prey, too many small animals, like rodents, would run around eating all the vegetation and destroying crops. Wow, we have learned some interesting facts about wildcats. Let's review. How did wildcats migrate to other continents? If you said they used land bridges to migrate to other continents, you're right. True or false? Wildcats are omnivores. False. Wildcats are carnivores. Choose the word the author would say best describes wildcats. A. Defenseless. B. Venomous. C. Meek. D. Endangered. E. Enormous. If you answered D. Endangered, you're correct. Well done, Wildcat Wonders. If you enjoyed reading along with us today, remember to check out learnbright.org for even more lesson plans. Hope you had fun learning with us. Visit us at learnbright.org for thousands of free resources and turnkey solutions for teachers and homeschoolers.